Fried rice. Welcome to another episode of Simple Drunk Recipe. Today, we're gonna be making fried rice, which is arguably probably the best drunk food to have. What ultimately makes fried rice so good is the fact that it is really simple and easy to make. You can get it done in minutes, and it's quite filling, and it will be great for all that alcohol in your system. In fact, it's so simple and easy to make, I'm actually gonna be doing two different versions in this video. Now, of course, when anybody makes fried rice on YouTube, there is a shadow that looms over us. A man, but yet not a man. A horrible orange polo wearing demon. Hiya. But don't worry, Uncle Roger. In this video, I'm gonna be keeping things as concise and on point as possible, making a fried rice that'll look from somewhat familiar to the, what you're probably used to, but also something I think will impart a little bit more flavor. I think you'll like it. Now, while fried rice is kind of generally accepted to be a broad spectrum across Asia, with every various culture and country seem to have their own variations of fried rice, I think most people generally, when they think about fried rice, they think China. So this first recipe will be kind of more of a traditional, I guess you would say, Chinese fried rice. The only down part is, I don't have any Chinese liquors. Um, I do have sake, which is, of course, not Chinese, it's Japanese. But, you know, this should be fine. It's not like there's a, you know, long sorted uh, history of strife between China and Japan. Cheers! That's pretty good, it's kind of fruity. So we're gonna, of course, start out with a shallot. So we're gonna take that shallot, we're gonna cut it in half, and then we're gonna chop it up real nice and small. Don't be fooled by the name shallot. Uh, these are still basically onions and they will make you tear up. Now that we've chopped up our shallots, the next is garlic. And we're gonna be using, whoops. And we're gonna be using quite a bit of garlic. Four, five, I don't know, however many cloves of garlic you want. So once you've taken them off the bulb, you're gonna do your best bass rootin' impersonation and give these a nice heel palm strike. Once you have freed your garlic cloves, you're gonna to wanna to chop them up extremely fine. Or, there's a couple other things you can do, which will save you quite a bit of time. Get one of those garlic crushers, or this is like a zester, and I find that this works decently well. And you basically just wanna grate them. Now that you've done that, it's on to spring onions. Chop that, and just gonna dice these up nice and thin. These are treated as a garnish on top at the end. And this really leafy green stuff at the end, you don't, you don't need this, you can just toss that shit. I, I need to pick that up and put it in the trash. All right, and next up is of course, making eggs. I'm gonna be using two eggs here, and then I'm gonna mix them up. No, 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 no! Just kidding, Uncle Roger. You thought I was gonna mix these with a fork, huh? Don't worry, I got chopsticks. Preparation is done and we can finally cook this stuff. There's just one problem. I'm sorry, Uncle Roger, I, uh, I, I don't have a wok. You fucked up. But don't worry, because as you say, I have the white people's wok, a skillet. Oh, and don't worry, I haven't forgot. There's the rice. So this is, of course, leftover takeout rice, which actually works really great when making a fried rice, because you want about day-old cold rice. Now this is, of course, a giant big thing of this, so I'm only gonna be using about half. Don't worry, the other half will come in later in this video. You get your pan nice and hot. You go in with vegetable oil, peanut oil, some kind of oil, as long as it's not olive oil. Once that oil starts to smoke, you're going in with your garlic and your shallot for about 30 seconds to a minute. Then you dump those eggs in, mix everything up, and as soon as things start to look pretty solid with those eggs, you're going in with your rice. You're then gonna use a wooden spoon, spatula, whatever you need to do 
to break the rice up. You're then gonna hit it with soy sauce and a little bit of sesame seed oil. How much, I don't know. You then wanna throw your spring onions in, mix everything up, and then plate it. And there you have it, a classic, simple fried rice. There you go, real simple, easy, quick to do, very filling and delicious. Saltiness from the soy sauce, a little bit of bite from those spring onions, and a nice bit of fluffy egg. Now that of course was very good, but I can elevate it. Now for this next dish, we're visiting a different Asia country that I've taken a lot of inspiration from for this particular recipe, and that is Korea. So, we're gonna go with soju. I don't know why they do this in Korea, but apparently, they do. Nice shot of soju to get things going for this one. Mmm, <laughs> choices were made. Oh, we're having a fun one tonight. So for this next fried rice, we are starting with pork belly. Nice, juicy, and real fatty meat that is gonna act as really kind of our base for this fried rice. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this pork belly, I'm gonna cut it up into nice real small pieces, which will integrate perfectly with the rest of the ingredients for our fried rice. We're gonna clean off our cutting board, and of course clean off our knife, as we come back to familiar territory with our spring onion. Again, this will be our garnish at the end. We're coming in with, of course, the quintessential Korean dish, kimchi. We're gonna cut this up in a bowl with some scissors. That way the kimchi doesn't stain our cutting board. Once our kimchi is all cut up to bite-sized pieces, we can set that aside. This is what I'm gonna do here with the eggs now of this. We got two eggs. One will come in later. This one, we're gonna crack. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of mirin. Again, not Korean, but the mirin will provide a little bit of sweetness to the egg when we cook it up. And hell, you know, it's not like Japan and Korea have a sordid history as well. Let's have a drink. So what do we have here for this recipe? So you have one egg mixed up with mirin. We have pork belly, we have kimchi, we have day old cold rice, we have spring onion, we have soy sauce, and sesame seed oil, and gochujang. So here's how this goes. We heat up our pan. First thing, the egg goes in immediately. I'm gonna cook that up. Once it's solidified, it's coming back out. Don't worry, it'll come back in very soon. In with the pork belly. That's gonna impart so much flavor and fattiness to this. It really helps soak up all that alcohol. Once that pork belly is all cooked, in goes the kimchi, cook that up for a bit, and then in comes our rice. Make sure to break up that rice just like before. No clumps. Our eggs go back in. Then we're coming in with that gochujang. You can put as much or as little gochujang in there as you want. I usually put about two big old globs of gochujang, which I put kind of in the center, make a nice well of everything else, and then I mix it all up. Get that nice bright red color in here. From there, I hit it with a bit of the soy sauce. And when it's just about done, put a little sesame oil on top. Oh, but don't forget, we've also had another pan off to the side heating up. Our egg goes in the pan, along with a little bit of water, then covered with a lid to steam and cook the top quickly. Then we top with spring onions and our fried egg. And there you have it, a nice Korean-inspired kimchi fried rice. and nice bit of runny yolk, the fattiness of the pork, and of course the spice from that kimchi and gochujang. Bottoms up. All 
I mean, come on. A little bit more time, a little bit more prep, but by God, is it good. Another great thing about the uh, kimchi fried rice is that uh, with the kimchi and the gochujang, if you're congested, your sinuses will clear out. Great bit of spice. That kimchi, it comes with a lot of the natural spices like the garlic that we did for the regular fried rice, so it requires less seasoning from you. A pork belly also gives a nice gloss of flavor to literally every bite. So there you have it. Two fried rices, either one is a great drunken night meal. So Uncle Roger, please let me know. Is my fried rice hiya or is it for you? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends. I'm gonna get back to eating a bit of this. I'll see you in the next video.